What is up guys? Today we are going to the Pomona Fairgrounds to check out the Grand National Roadster Show. Uh, I took a bunch of pictures. Uh, I did a little bit of video, but there was just way too many people to uh, you know, go ahead and do video there. So I went ahead and just did a bunch of pictures. So I'm going to do a little slideshow for you. I'm going to narrate it and took some of the best, best pictures of the best cars that I thought were worthy of your time so check it out let me know what you think put comments below and subscribe and like if you like the channel thanks we'll talk to you soon check it out grand national roadster show 2020 peace okay first up guys is this 1932 roadster beautiful car and the colors are just amazing uh, we uh, actually put that car in there twice this car won the 1932 America's Most Beautiful Roadster at the show. Here's a 1955 Chevrolet. Also gorgeous colors. Here's a beautiful blue 1956 Chevy pickup truck. This truck was gorgeous. A lot of custom work. Look at that grill. Here's a 1967 Chevelle Pro Street. So this was a race car. And this was in the race car uh, building. <clears throat> Here's a, a Dodge uh, wheelie car. And the motor is blown. It's in the back. That car actually was on uh, Jay Leno. And they rolled that on Jay Leno. That car was rebuilt. Uh, here's a dump truck. And uh, here's a 1956 Chevy pickup truck. Another beautiful car, lowered on 20s. 1969 Camaro. And here's the uh, Roadster again. I, it was so nice, I, I put it in there twice. Also had Hillborn fuel injection on it. And the colors were just amazing. Look at that blend job in the paint. Here's a 1972 Pantera. Beautiful car. A little not quite factory, a little bit custom. Um, and then in the background, you can see this truck. This truck uh, was done by Darren Smith out of Huntington Beach. He actually won uh, the SEMA uh, uh, Best of the Builders Award. Um, he made it into the top 12. And so that's quite a feat for SEMA 2020 or 2019, I'm sorry. This truck's absolutely gorgeous, uh, beautifully straight. And uh, the only thing that he shaved on it was the gas tank and the turn signals. Uh, and the, you can see right there the front valence, the grill part was gone where the windshield wipers used to be. And then he repainted the front of this grill really nice. All that normally is chrome. Here's a beautiful 1967 Chevelle. This is a trailer queen. This car cannot get driven daily. The car is absolutely immaculate. I only hope my 67 comes out that nice. Um, and I actually did a little video of this coming up. So you'll see the video here in a second. Because uh, the pictures actually did not do this car justice. It was so straight and so beautiful that uh, I had to do a little video of it. And luckily there wasn't that many people at the time that actually could actually get a video of it. Uh, but check it out. Uh, the interior is immaculate, all brand new, all leather, and then we're going to shoot the outside. Look at the paint job here. You can see my reflection, and the still shots of this car just don't do it justice. Somehow the video really picks it up on how shiny this paint job and how straight it actually is. So kudos, man. Whoever painted that car did a fantastic job. motor was beautiful too the engine was done right lots of chrome 20 inch wheels those are actually foos wheels here's a 1969 camaro this is big red this car set land speed records and uh, averaged 200 miles an hour in a race race in mexico averaged 199 miles per hour through a 90 minute race this gto is a 1967 gto really pretty car totally custom lots of fabrication you'll see the back end on this that bumper is completely 
welded into the car. It's all fabricated into being part of the car. Here's a 68 Camaro, and this Camaro, they did a phenomenal job. Gorgeous interior. Back bumper was shaved and uh, scooted in a little bit, and you can see all the custom fab work here. This is just gorgeous work, and it's subtle, but you can't really tell, but there, that was a lot of work back there. Uh, front end as well. It's got an LS motor. Beautiful car. Don't like the, the front valence so much, but uh, was a lot of work and great work. Here's a uh, Dodge uh, Plymouth Cuda in about 1970. This car was really straight, all leather interior. Got the 70s uh, plaid in there, which is kind of coming back. The guys are putting that back in there in a slightly different way than it was in the 70s, but looks pretty cool. 1969 Camaro. This car was absolutely gorgeous. Uh, look at the detail on the front end on this car. It's got the hideaway headlights, bumpers uh, shaved and tucked back in a little bit more than what the factory had it. Uh, just incredible. Amazing cars. A lot of these cars were at the SEMA show in 2019, which was in November, uh, currently in January. This is a 1967 Corvette on an Art Morrison chassis. They literally take the chassis, suspension, and frame, and then they take the car and put the car on the frame and build it around the frame. This is built by Alloys, Hot Rod Shops, and I believe they're in Tennessee. They came all the way out for Tennessee uh, with this, these two cars, the 67 and the 70 Chevelle. They're identically made. Uh, they both have uh, blue pinstripe tires that they had custom made blue custom interior and uh, the blue stripe on the hood as well uh, just both of these cars were gorgeous uh, renditions of the model and uh, together they were just spectacular look at the motor on this Chevelle just gorgeous here's the front end of the 67 Corvette Deltron was the paint that they used which is a great product made by Ditzler or I'm sorry, PPG. On the back end of this Chevelle, you can see that they actually shortened the, the fender or shortened the bumper a little bit and tucked it in, Frenched it in a little bit, uh, and it's very subtle. Here is a uh, uh, Dodge, or I'm sorry, a uh, Chevy Nomad, and this is also on an Art Morrison chassis. So this is what the chassis looked like uh, on those that Corvette and that Chevelle. This is how they started. So they put the chassis down. They get it from Art Morrison. And then they put the take the body off with no floor and set it on the car where they want it to ride. And then they build the floor to fit the chassis so that the car sits at the height they want it to sit at. Absolutely amazing. Here's a 240Z with a LS motor in it, V8. So a very light car with lots of power, kind of squirrely. Uh, this is what's called a car capsule. That's a really cool product. It's like a portable garage uh, for your car. And I think this is the last truck on here. This is a crew cab Dodge. Uh, beautiful truck, beautiful colors absolutely outstanding so thanks guys i hope you like